I am Chef Martin of Yang King Cook on Pop Pick Television Station around the country. And our show has been very lucky because uh, uh, the, the, the show is actually uh, broadcast and, and around the world in 60, 55 to 60 countries, reaching about 2 billion potential audience around the world for the last 20, 30 years. Perfect. And I understand you and your wife are um, UC Davis um, alumni. Yes, we are graduate. Uh, we spent a lot of wonderful, happy years in, uh, in Davis and I'm riding bicycle and, um, and uh, get to know everybody. You know, when you ride a bicycle, you can bump into a lot of people. And uh, that, that is a, a wonderful campus. Perfect. Well, so can you tell me a little bit about um, some of the donation um, items that are being uh, made to UC Davis? For the last uh, 30, 40 years, I have collected thousands of cookbooks. And I actually have a, a collection of about 4,500 cookbooks all, all over. And uh, in fact, uh, about five years ago, I donated about 500 cookbooks to the UC Davis Library already. But during that time, we, we, we were toying an idea how I can put together all of these wonderful collections because uh, these books um, cuisine from around the world, uh, not just Asian cuisine, but mainly a lot of Asian cuisine, not only in, uh, in English, but also bilingual and also in Chinese. So it's a, it's a, a, a tremendous collection. And some of these cookbooks are, are basically out of print. They no longer print it. So it's very hard to find some of this information. And uh, also besides the cookbook, um, I have a collection of, I have published a number of cookbooks, about 30, over 30 cookbooks, 30 titles. So I'm gonna autograph every single copy of these and put in the, uh, in, in the, use the Davis Library. And, and besides the cookbook, um, for the last 40 years, 40 some years that we're on television, we travel all over the world. We travel all over the world we recorded it, film it, and take photo, and a lot of these, and, and also collect some of these um, uh, special items, just like uh, uh, baskets or this and that. So we have a collection of all of those. We can turn that into a museum, actually. <laughs> and, uh, and also videos, a photo. We have almost half a, more than half a million um, uh, uh, photos, food photos, and market photos. Because uh, if you you try to travel and film all of this, it takes about five years to do it. If a photographer try to do, put all of these photographs together, it take about five years. You got to travel all over Asia, from remote area to from the city to remote area to the mountain to the beach to the uh, to the sea to to the to, to, uh, to the uh, volcanic uh, eruption area to do. Rainforest. We stay in a in a, in, a, in, a, in a tree house, and all of those photographs we have it uh, will be in the collection of the Shavianza um, uh, 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 Asian and Chinese and Asian colonial archives. Gotcha. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about the benefits of the public having access to this type of thing? I mean, it sounds like it's it's super expansive. So, I'm sure that the history is is going to be great for people to have as well. Well, I think, I think the, uh, the collection represent a number of area. One is about travel, about food culture, about history, about heritage of each of the places that I travel. I have traveled basically all over Asia uh, and, and many parts of the world uh, as, as a professional. And, and this is basically the recording and um, documentation of all these wonderful history, culture, local lifestyle, foods and art, food and art, uh, handicraft, about people. There's a lot of time we cook in, in people's house and then we record that. And then we have photographs of that. So people can actually, without traveling to those exotic places, then they can have a feel of all of these because it's not only still photographs, slides, but also video. Awesome. So it sounds like it's going to be a very immersive experience for someone. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a very submerged, it's very intensive experience because you can see I'm taking you as a, a, a tour guide. 
a culinary guide, a cultural guide to take you to different parts of the world that most likely as a regular tourist, you never, never have the time to really visit remote areas. So when we do television, we travel roaming from the north to the south, from the east to the, like we just did something in, our, in Korea. We were doing something right along the border of North and South Korea, all the way, all the way down by car to drive around all over to the south, southern tip of Korea, the Jeju Island, and actually work with a lot of these diving ladies that they dive for the, their, for the living. They dive for abalone, squids, and, and, uh, and uni. So we had an opportunity to experience all of these firsthand and then capture them not only on a book, uh, in a book, but also capture in, in video, in, um, in, in the images. So people can really, really get to all of this information and all of this will be digitized. So people from around the world can, uh, can enjoy it, can do research. And hopefully uh, through our connection, uh, through our connection between Davis Library and myself and all our colleagues, and uh, we encourage everybody to donate Asian cookbook to this library, to this archive. Amazing. Um, so one of my final questions is, what are you most excited for the public to see um, out of all, of maybe, I know that this is probably hard to answer, but out of all of your experiences, yeah. what are you most excited for people to sort of interact with? Well, first of all, there's a saying, food brings people together and food and cooking has no national and international boundary. With, with today's um, a social, uh, a social uh, 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 fabric, and America is a melting pot. And uh, you know, people coming from Italy, from Israel, from Germany, from Italy, from France, from England, and they all are from South, different parts of Southeast Asia, from Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and Thailand. And all of these food brings everybody together. It's a melting pot. So I'm just trying to focus on the Asian culinary and cultural and heritage experience to share with people. There are a lot that, that probably about 5% to more, uh, probably about close, eventually probably, probably approaching 10% of the uh, Asian American Pacific Islanders population. And they bring their own culture. So I hope that this archive will give people a sense, hey, we're a great nation and food and culture brings all of us together. And then hopefully through this, people have a better understanding of Asian food, Asian culture, Asian heritage. And then we learn to understand and accept and respect each other's culture. And that's our ultimate idea. So to hopefully people from around the world can, can really truly enjoy it and have a, a home to find all of these. And then of course, it this is an, give me an opportunity to deepen my, my association, my connection with my alma mater at UC Davis. I spent so many wonderful years there. And then, um, and hope, hopefully um, without the opportunity, without the, the experience I have at UC Davis, I wouldn't be able to graduate from, from Davis and have a graduate degree at the same time have a television career. So I think it's time for me to, to give it back to the community, give it back to uh, my beloved university, UC Davis, and also share my passion and my love with people around the world, including you. Well, perfect. Thank you so much. Um, are there are there any anything that you want to add that maybe I didn't touch on? Um, well, actually, actually, I will be uh, actually doing um, a live event in May. I'm going to do a live event in May, and hopefully, uh, you can join us. Uh, I will do a, a little book signing um, in May uh, to the public. It's just uh, open to the public. I will, I will talk a little bit about it and and, and sign books and and do a cooking presentation and tell everybody. Food truly is an uh, all-encompassing super connector. And I am basically a cultural and culinary ambassador. And I want to use food, my love for food, and my passion of food to bring joy, happiness, and then people closer together. <laughs>